What is OMTEX ACF Bronze Level course? OMTEX ACF Bronze Level is step one to a complete series of four coaching courses designed to simplify cricket coaching for the T20 world. It is an elementary entry level program for young kids and any individual who has never been exposed to the sport of cricket in any practical manner. In this tutorial course, we will cover the main components of the Global Entry Level Program or GELP with the bat and ball and have fun while learning the basic skills of cricket. We will also review the equipment needed and other educational materials with available online resources for the coaches, PE teachers and instructors. What is Global Entry Level Program or GELP? It's all about promoting fun and active lifestyles for kids while teaching them the fundamentals of cricket with bat and ball, skills and games. The program aims to simplify the game of cricket and its coaching. It is developed based on research by physical education teachers in the USA. A simplified coaching approach based on how educators like to understand cricket and also how they will educate future scholars or train players. Blending content combined from more than a dozen different entry-level programs. What's the purpose of Let's Play Cricket through this entry-level program? It's a very simple bat and ball program for kids that promotes character development, functional movement, active play and having fun, particularly for those who are completely new to the game. What is cricket? Cricket is the second most popular sport in the world, just behind football or soccer as it is called in some parts of the world. As per ICC Entry Level Program, cricket is a versatile sport that can be played by anyone, anywhere, anytime. Does the International Cricket Council offer any information? It's all about understanding the sport of cricket with the basic skills and knowledge required. The International Cricket Council has produced some simple explainer videos on cricket which are available on their site. Cricket Everywhere www.icc-cricket.com forward slash about forward slash development forward slash what is cricket forward slash cricket everywhere. What is cricket? www.icc-cricket.com forward slash about forward slash development forward slash what is cricket. Batting www.icc-cricket.com forward slash about forward slash development forward slash what is cricket forward slash batting. Bowling www.icc-cricket.com forward slash about, forward slash development, forward slash what is cricket, slash bowling. And finally, fielding, www.icc-cricket.com, slash about, slash development, slash what is cricket, slash fielding. To understand any cricket videos or reference material out there on the internet, in this program, we like to guide new coaches to use various resources already available on the internet, the most commonly used resource in USA. www.usacec.org Check under Education. What is the meaning or definition of the word coach? Helper. Help the player to learn a game at the youth or beginner level by teaching them game-related skills as a caretaker. In other words, a coach helps players to reach from one level to another higher level for the game based on coaching philosophy. So what is coaching philosophy? Every coach out there in any sport has their own philosophy. If someone is new to coaching, they can ask a few questions to themselves to come up with their own philosophy. Like, what am I coaching? What are my benefits and standards? What are my motivations? 
What do I hope for my experience? What do I hope for the player's experience? Can you explain coaching basics? Coaches are encouraged to use basic methods for introducing fundamental skills. Overview of new skill. Introduce the new skill and provide fundamental keys. Demonstration of skill. Demonstrate to students how to execute each fundamental skill while reinforcing the fundamental keys of the skill. Experiment with the skill. Provide students with the opportunity to practice the skill through active gameplay. Clarify the importance of skill. While students practice the fundamental skills, provide feedback on performance and clarify the fundamental keys. For example, use two hands. Skill mastery. Provide students with multiple practice opportunities to aid their skill development. While students practice, Continue to reinforce the fundamental keys that are necessary for skill mastery. What coaching styles need to be adopted for young kids? Let them play environment provides an opportunity for youth players to develop fundamental skills through practice and modified games. Youth players are divided into pairs or small groups to play games that apply the fundamental skills learned earlier in the training or practice. Age-appropriate training curriculum covers the fundamental skills of the game over a length of training. Can you explain coaching style? It depends on process, how you plan, set up, communicate and run the practice session where your position is important, which is normally a safe distance away from all obstructions while kids are playing. Meaning, do not jump in the middle of kids while they play. You can walk around the side, and if you like to stay in the middle, make sure kids are practicing in zones on both or all four sides. Any advice to new coaches? Teach the fundamental skills and simple basic rules needed to play cricket. It must be the simplest way. More activity, less talk for the youth. Enable students to learn the health enhancing benefits associated with playing cricket games. Always promote health concept for well-being. Create a fun, active and positive environment in which coaches can enjoy these simple games. Promote high self-esteem and self-confidence by giving scholars the opportunity to learn and succeed in cricket games. Look for the possible future to help and motivate them. Model and teach the fundamentals of gameplay, game sense training, while emphasizing teamwork and good sportsmanship. The basics and fundamentals provides an opportunity for the coaches to introduce students to new skills and concepts, as well as review previously learned skills through a brief overview and demonstration. What's the minimum equipment requirement? Safety first. Maybe a plastic bat and ball to begin with. Depending on the age of kids, you may introduce other equipment as kids get along with game skills. Omtech Sports offers a wide range of coaching equipment and items. What else is needed to start coaching the youth? Plan ahead and prepare yourself with a list of items you need to run practice schedules. Most commonly used and safe cricket equipment, in addition to marking cones, markers, tapes, ropes and other coaching items are helpful. You will get a comprehensive catalogue from Omtech Sports, which will help you to decide. Does it require proper or specific space? No. Smart coaches with superior game knowledge can make a big difference to your game and that's the main purpose of this course. Our trained coaches will confidently make the adjustments needed to get going with cricket by utilizing equipment and resources on hand, by adjusting to every environment and space. What is safety and its importance? It's all about keeping trainees safe from any harm or injuries so they can continue to enjoy the game. 
There should be clear rules and a minimum risk of injury. Violence, discrimination and threatening behaviour have no place in sport. Any safety basics? Coach as a caretaker. Protect individual players, including players with physical limitations. Provide safe environment for players and all others involved, including parents, spectators and other sports players. Fluid replacement guidelines. Well-planned activities to prevent injuries. Any importance of injury prevention? The most important thing in youth sports is to keep them in the game, which includes keeping them safe and injury-free in practice or game. Health matters most. Injured players do go off from all normal and physical activities for a while, and sometime they may even quit because of injury-related fear and concerns. Learn more on www.cdc.gov slash safe child slash sports injuries slash index dot html How will this course help young kids? Any importance of character with life learning essentials? The course helps character development along with life learning essentials in the following areas. Common core basics Teamwork Being supportive Helping others Honesty Leadership Never give up Do your best Responsibility Any resources for technical or skill information related to this course? As said earlier, there are more than a dozen entry-level programs out there on the internet. But we have one source on a USA site heavily used by school teachers. It also has links to many other resources. USACEC.org Look under the Education section. Normal process for field practice sessions. Plan ahead properly. Procure all the needed equipment. Set up ahead of time. Begin with warm-up and stretching. Start with basic movement, skill training and games with smaller numbers followed by cool down. What is the purpose of practices like skill drills? It's all about game-related skill learning process through practice. At the same time, players are allowed to repeat the same activity to master the skill. In other words, sport drill displays are activities that people do in order to demonstrate their mastery of a particular task. These drills usually focus on skills needed to play different sporting activities, such as speed, balance and sharp reflexes. Like fundamental movement skills while learning game skills. Run, catch, Throw, two-hand bat strike are game-related skills, which also require some physical movement. What are best choices for coaches in terms of do's in youth coaching? Here are some of the main points. Put the welfare of each child ahead of winning. Winning is not everything. Give enthusiastic and constructive feedback rather than negative criticism. Always appreciate their effort. Avoid pushing children against their will and putting undue pressure on them. Take into account the environmental condition of the grounds and the pitch, including weather. Avoid being with a child, male or female, in an isolated or unobserved situation. Set boundaries between coaches and children that should not be crossed. Recognize the different developmental needs and the capacity of children. Make sure that if mixed sex teams travel, they are always accompanied by a male and female chaperone. Make sure you never enter a child's room or invite them into your room when traveling. 
ascertain whether children you are coaching have any medical conditions or special needs. What are the best choices for coaches in terms of don'ts in youth coaching? The main don'ts are Spend excessive amounts of time alone with children away from others. Take or drop off a child at an event. Take children to your home or transport them by car where they will be alone with you. Engage in rough, physical or sexually provocative games. Share a room with a child. Allow or engage in any form of inappropriate touching or physical abuse. Take part in or tolerate behavior that frightens, embarrasses or demoralizes a cricketer or affects their self-esteem. Allow children to use inappropriate language. Make sexually suggestive comments to a child, even in fun. Make a child cry as a form of control. Allow allegations made by a child to go unchallenged, unrecorded or ignored. Do things of a personal nature for children that they can do for themselves. Share bathrooms or changing facilities with a child and other conditions that might impact their play. Communication with young kids. There may be very little talk at a young age. But the key to deal with kids is listening to them and understanding their interest, which is most important. Why listening is most important in youth coaching. Young kids talk less and they only speak for a direct purpose. On top of that, they're not always ready to listen and learn something from many other ways to learn. They are only confident in their own act. We call it try and learn by experience. Does this program provide basic cricket safety checklist? We will provide generic, simple, most commonly used safety checklist, but you must modify it to make it perfect for your need and situation. What basic skills need to be introduced at this entry level? Fielding, catching, throwing with one bounce, bowling and striking the ball with the bat to score runs are core minimums with basic grips. What basic rules need to be introduced at entry level? Simple ones, such as how a batsman is out, bowled, caught or run out. Any suggestions for small team games? Depending on the space, equipment and the number of players you have, you can develop or modify any small game to fit your situation. It's all about having fun, enjoyment and easy to understand competition. How do you define child? Any young person who is under 18 years of age could be considered a child. And within this range, they can be subdivided into different age groups, with each age group demanding different style and type of coaching. What is fair play? Equal opportunity for all. Make sure all kids are involved with some activity and time is allotted evenly for all the different skills and roles they are made to practice. Why child protection is important? They are very sensitive at early age and loving care takes top priority. Nurturing them during their activities is critical when they join others to get going as a team. And it's also the time when child abuse can possibly happen. So, as a coach and caretaker, it becomes our responsibility to protect them from any abnormal uncertainties during that time with us. What is child abuse? Three major ones are physical harm, emotional or psychological harm, sexual molestation or exploitation. The three R's of child protection. Recognize injury and situation. Resist 
prevent further damage and prompt action to help player. And report. It can be emergency and health professionals or parents. Why do children play? To have fun. To learn and improve. To be with friends. To get fit. And they love competition. Why do children quit sport? Lack of fun. Lack of playing or activity time. Lack of social support. Unhappy at performance. Overemphasis on winning. What is the major role and key responsibility of a coach in junior coaching? The first job as a coach is to ensure the safety of the children in your charge or care. As a coach, the welfare of the child is paramount. Discipline is the most essential part of any sport. How about any discipline at this level? Yes, discipline is a must at all levels in any sport. But when you're dealing with young kids, any physical activity such as laps, push-ups, sit-ups, etc. as punishment for misbehavior is an inappropriate method of discipline. What is the meaning of the word coaches in youth sports? Here is our full form. C. Conditioning. Ensure that they are properly prepared for cricket. Start with about 10 minutes of jogging, jumping jacks, or anything that brings the heart rate up gradually. Then stretch all major muscles, holding each stretch for 20 to 30 seconds. O. Overuse injury protection. Ensure that the children get enough rest breaks during practice and matches. Permit them to take frequent breaks in the shade. Remove any debris on the field that may cause a tripping injury during practice sessions and never attempt a practice session during bad weather. A. Advanced planning. Ensure that you're prepared for emergencies on the pitch. Save all parents' and guardians' contact information in your cell phone. Also, keep a first aid kit handy, and you should have a plan in place for any medical emergencies. C. Check children often. Observing the physical condition of children while they are playing cricket is an essential step in guaranteeing their safety. In the youthful exuberance, children may not understand the danger of not resting or overworking themselves while they are playing. H. Hydration is critical. On hot days, ensure that children, especially the youngest, drink enough water, whether they are thirsty or not. Rather, have them drink water at least 30 minutes before training begins and then every 15 or 20 minutes thereafter. E. Equipment Make sure that children have the proper equipment for playing and that it is in good working order. Ill-fitting or ill-suited equipment can be dangerous. S. Safety training Get trained Safety training is widely available, both through coursework and the Internet. One resource available online is the organization Safe Kids Worldwide. Their website is safekids.org. Importance of Fitness and Conditioning At this youth level, fitness and conditioning cannot be involved as direct activity. But coaches must create skill training, which involves their body and movement. What is the best way to coach young kids or effective coaching? Effective coaching is the best solution for all levels of coaching in any sport. In other words, having a proper plan all the time. Manage numbers of involvement for higher participation. Manage numbers of work and rest. Vary communication. 
allow for experiment and discussion. Organizing a practice session. Equipment and space needs. Session duration. Activity variety with a proper flow. Simple to complex. Warm up to cool down. Prevention and care. Safe space and safe practice prevents injuries. Rest, breaks and hydration. Err towards caution. What is the best way to coach young kids? There is a complete series of five small certificate courses. How to Coach Kids. Online training available at www howtocoachkids.org How to get certificates and what we need to do next to advance coaching for silver level. Please complete the final assessment online at the website mentioned here. forms.gle slash vev zk7 qkw d8m hizh6 Congratulations for completing this session.